Hey, 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 welcome to the DPB channel and today we have a special game. All right, we're bringing back some old school here in the form of Todo Aoi. All right, it's definitely one of my favorite anime characters in the whole show of Jujutsu Kaisen. But will you be able to do well, you know, against the current new meta, which is definitely the AOT Raid? Our AOT Raid has a very good special, which allows you to be very fast in terms of the pacing of the game. So we shall really see as we do see the army being pushed out immediately going for the aggression hitting to the first life here just double checking the seven life hitting to just the mecha maru adding it to hand nothing too fancy here but we do return the aggression all right with the todo aoi and we go for the utahime here looking at top three we do find one of the better todo aoi here allowing us to discard one with this card the mecha maru and then of course we're going to follow up by playing more energy we're going to be playing the ultimate mecha maru here which guarantee us four energy the next turn and we do hit into a raid uh aaron jaeger there he putting into six and he does have two energy here will he be pushing out he looks like he doesn't he does actually play the aaron jaeger step in the back line instead two copies of them this will be very scary the next turn but however the army will definitely still go for that swing and he does actually have one more ap left so he does go for the aaron jaeger raid given that he does go first here so he's actually able to push two damage potentially this turn and it's pretty scary because the amount of damage he does per turn is about one to two and we are down to four already and we do hit into a final which is basically useless in the life and we do hit into the draw trigger here you know doing very well i would say uh but however with those hand size you know can he actually do something about it so we're gonna just play one card in the front line here given that we do have four active energy we use total aoi here to actually clap the utahime to the front and the second AP here, we're gonna go for the special, which is also known as the Boogie Oogie. All right, so basically just uh, bottom decking one of the opponent cards, allowing them to play a card for free if they want to. Uh, he's thinking about it and does play the Aaron Jaeger from hand. And because we have Total Aoi, we do draw one card. Very decent, I would say, especially it's just a three cost uh, special. We go for the real key ten card here, putting us back to two AP. And will we be able to do a good uh, punish here? As we do go for the Miwa, still drawing to some sort of, uh, I would say, answer into the deck. And it looks like we don't really draw too much and we don't go, go for the Uto Hime. Uh, discarding it, sorry. And we do go for the last AP here to go for a Todo. Alright, so definitely very nice as we do intend to clap one of the card back. And it looks like we don't choose to clap anything because, I mean... Uh, okay, we actually choose to clap the Aaron Jaeger to the front line. I mean, because if he wants to raid, he'll definitely raid that the card in his state. So putting it to the front line does reduce his energy in a sense and given that it's only 1.5k anyway and we do hit into a color trigger here very unfortunate it's going to burn one of the total aoi and leaving us with just three bodies in the front line now having bodies in the front line constantly against red aot is very important because like i mentioned at the start of the video to do have this very special uh special <laughs> all right he does raid to the special Aaron jaeger first then going for the mikasa ackerman and killing off one of our bodies once again and because the Aaron jaeger on attack skill allows him to play the sasha brows here which is basically a 4k attacker for free i mean at the end of the attack he does go back to hand but however with the aggression he's going to put up we definitely are going to struggle very hard here as we do decide to block it here and then eating to two life and we are two life at basically just the second third ap turn so we are very limited in terms of resources, especially if we look at the board state. We do have only two energy line, and I mean total four energy, but with just two bodies. We do actually draw into it. another boogie woogie, you know, bottom decking the Aaron Jaeger. Very strong given that it does have impact one and also double, or rather act as a multi-attacker in the same turn. We do draw one though, but I think we really need to see that final to actually come back in this game, especially because, you know, uh, with the board state being ruined like that, we got colored, we got uh, Mikasan, all these miners actually hurts a lot for the deck so we're going to go for one more card here and looks like this we do decide to go for the total hour in the front line with a 3.5k body and that's it at two damage hitting to two life hitting to a final as well as a no trigger so that's very fortunate for us and he's down to two all right but the scary thing is he doesn't actually haven't played the very strong special from red aot and i believe it's this turn as he does go for the arming first and then going for that vertical maneuvering equipment which allows him to draw two basically and then play two cards with three energy or less and in this case uh sasha browse and i believe he does have one more in his hand and does think about it and looks like he does go for it so essentially he just spawned two 4k attackers just like that you know with one special it's just gonna casually draw a mikasa in the front line to prevent uh you know just body blocking the next turn because the special is strong but towards the late game you do actually have them bounce back to hand at the end of the attack so if we were to hit a very crucial special here 
it actually removes more bodies than it should and we do block off the last two attacks with that uh, Todo Aoi and Miwa and we are back to the same bot state which we witnessed in the previous turn and this is really unfortunate and like I mentioned just now we really do need to see the final to actually come back in this game we do go for the Miwa in the front line hoping to draw into the final and looks like we didn't and I think we're just going to dump multiple bodies into the front line here as we go, go we do go for the Utahime we can top 3 we do see the ultimate Mechamaru uh, not going to do too much here as we immediately discard it and the last AP it looks like it's going to drop 4 bodies in the front line because we need definitely need to be very careful against the opponent as we do go for the Toto Aoi double damage and Mikasa just block it immediately which was actually professionally played uh, by the left player here to actually just block the attack and soak up the attack and we just go for the AP draw one and then going for the another vertical maneuvering, maneuvering equipment alright which allows him to play 2 more Sasha Brows Ben, the two Sasha Brows is just insane as he does end the turn off with just an Aaron Jaeger ready to do some more damage here so he's definitely going for the 5 swing in this turn and Sasha will swing first and then followed by Aaron Jaeger which allows him to bounce to the top deck and then call one for free in this case just an Aaron Jaeger but it's just one more attack and we do hit to the last life and this is where the squad 104 takes the win now this is a squad 104 deck list, so let's just go through what you really do. Alright, so there's a total of 12 zeros here with the 4 Armin, 4 Mikasa, and 4 Aaron Jaeger. Now he does actually play 4 of the 1 cost Armin, which basically just allows you to become a discard folder, which allows you to draw 2 if he's a discard folder. So pretty interesting, and I do really like it because it's mainly a 1 cost. And that 1 cost does allow you to bridge to your next few turns perfectly if you do play a lot of UA. And of course, following up, he does play 4 Sasha Browse. And 4 Sasha is just pretty good as you can see from that previous game. Uh, he's just able to play down a 4k body and immediately attacking an opponent. An opponent without a good 4.5k body and above, they are not able to handle their aggression pretty well. Okay, and of course moving to the Mikasa, he's just opting for that 3 double energy here. And if you see the whole deck, Actually, that's the only double energy you have in this deck and I think it's pretty plenty already. Because of how the deck functions, you really don't want to just build energy and not doing damage to the opponent. And you do have multiple cards that actually do so much against your opponent. And of course, we do run the playset of the Color Mikasa. It's actually a very effective 4k attacker and it does have this effect whereby at the end of the turn when you do bounce to hand, you can just take a life and it doesn't. So you do remain that body and this is especially important in the case of the uh, Aaron Jaeger raid and of course the special which was mentioned, uh, the vertical maneuvering equipment. Okay, so we do also play 2 Mikasa raid, uh, basically just a good uh, you know, advantage gainer given that you do snipe off on your opponent cards. Not really snipe off but you do get the idea, you do queue out the resources and of course we do play the Aaron Jaeger step and it's actually a good 4k attacker as well because you can actually take one life edit to hand and can be on demand 4k attacker and of course we do play 4 Aaron Jaeger raid and this Aaron Jaeger raid is just super clutch sometimes because it's actually an impact 1 plus a multi battle alright it's basically a recipe for success and in this deck list we do only run 3 final and I mean it's actually from a pawn on the first side but however if you play the deck regularly you do realize that you actually don't really need the final and sometimes final is not the card you want to top deck into your hand given that you have vertical maneuvering equipment which allows you to draw 2 and play 2 that's actually a good 4 AP card in 1 AP alright and of course you do play the special uh, that video just prove it is just damn good and we do actually play the tech card 3 cons army here which has to be played in the energy line but it does so much for the deck and lastly to wrap off the deck we do actually play 2 Mikasa ST and 2 uh, Aaron Jaeger ST now Mikasa is just an active card with AP2 but however it does have impact 1 so it can be the game ender and of course we do have Aaron Jaeger which allows you to basically on rate draw 1 and if you want to just go for Sasa Geo Take one, uh, take one life and just gain one extra AP and then do more shenanigans. Okay, next we do have the Todo Aoi deck list. Uh, we actually are mixing with Maito here, just mainly for the 4k bodies and the occasional life trigger whereby you can actually stop your opponent from swinging further. And obviously that all didn't happen in the previous game. So that's pretty unfortunate and honestly, I feel that these deck lists do require some bit of work. So I'm just going to share it here for your view. Thank you for watching till the end and do consider subscribing, dropping a like and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.